introducing my 1969 Subaru 360, the world's smallest rock crawler. It has got Suzuki Samurai axles under it. It has got four link suspension, front and rear. I have huge plans for this thing and I am so stoked to show you guys what's gonna happen. So I'm over here at my brother Elevated Overland shop and I'm picking up my Subaru 360. This thing's a project I started years ago. I've had the car for almost four years now and I cut everything out from under it. I originally had plans of making it a low, super quick street car. Obviously those plans changed. Uh, when that wasn't working out, I had a Suzuki Samurai lying around. I cut up and I threw the axles under it. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing put in my diesel and then we can hook up to the trailer and get the other foreigner I've got out of here too. Got the axles strapped up. Good. Come here. Are you good? Holy shit. It did, it did, it did like unrepairable, but. Oh, it would be so gone. So far gone. And now we're like jeopardizing the truck. Oh. Hang on, Jack, yeah, you go, buddy. What just happened? Shut the fuck up. Do you run out of gas? Are you on a propane? <laughs> Out of propane. Perfect, that's so far away. Worst case scenario, I'll take these wheels off. Hang on, slow. Oh my goodness. Come on. <laughs> It looks like a Skittle on a Starburst. Wheels are tight on both sides. It doesn't even need a strap, Nick. Jish, come slow. Stop. Good. We got this thing in the truck. That was a little bit of an adventure. It's tight. This tire and wheel are about touching this bedside, and this tire and wheel are about touching this bedside. But she's in. She's doing pretty good. It looks pretty ridiculous when you stand back and look at it. The yellow on red really makes the combo. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a couple straps holding this thing into the bed. I'm gonna keep all of the straps holding the body and the axle together just cause this thing is such a half finished project. It is not ready to go down the road yet, but we're gonna get it down the road cause I need to get it to my shop. So here's the plan. We've got the 360 in the back of my diesel. We've got the forerunner hooked up to the trailer. We're gonna go ahead, we got some holes dug behind the tires of the diesel up there. We've got some boards up there so that we can get the tailgate a little bit lower. We're gonna throw the trailer ramps from the diesel onto the trailer, and then we're gonna push this thing from the diesel onto the trailer, and then from there, it should just be like unloading any trailer.
Now you are. All right guys, now that we've got this thing unloaded, I just couldn't help but flex it out. I wanted to take a good look at it. It's been so long since I've worked on it. I am pumped on this project. It has been a dream car of mine. This is not the exact plan I had in mind when I picked it up, but I am pumped with the direction I'm going in. This thing is going to be an absolute blast and I can't wait to get into it. So let's do a walk around and see what we're working with. Jumping right into it, this front axle, both these axles actually are out of a 1988 Suzuki Samurai. They're stock axles, stock gearing, 100% stock right now. I did trust them and put four link brackets on them, triangulated four link brackets, both front and rear. But we'll get into that more in a second. It's just stock bare fields, stock axles, stock differential, but that will all be chaining. Right now, these are the tires I got on the Samurai that I used for parts, but that will also be changing in the future. These are like 28 inch tires. I plan on stepping that up to 31, possibly 33s. Jumping under this thing, those four link brackets I was talking about, it is triangulated four link front and rear. These are the links I've got right now. I do plan on using a little bit bigger links. These are just for mock-up to see how everything works, but it is Heim suspension front and rear all the way around. It's got an insane amount of articulation. This is just the beginning. I have so much more I can cut, so much more articulation possible. I am gonna be limited by the suspension I use. So let me know down below if you know what to use. I'm torn between air shocks, coilovers, and bucket and coil shock. Now let's talk power plant. From the factory, this thing came with a 360cc two-stroke engine that put up about 25 horsepower. Wasn't a whole lot. This thing struggled to keep up with traffic, and I was determined to change that when I got it. When I got it, it was actually a golf cart, which was even worse than the factory drivetrain. So I tore all of that out, and originally I was gonna stuff a four AGE from a AW11 MR2 in here. When that looked like it was gonna be way too much work comfortably, I decided I was gonna go a different route. The $200 Suzuki Samurai, that's where the drivetrain comes. With the axles, I got this transmission and transfer case. I did not get an engine with it, but that's okay. I wanna go small. I'm thinking I'm gonna go either a three-cylinder Kubota diesel or a three-cylinder Geo Metro engine, which will made up to this factory transmission out of a Suzuki Samurai. And seeing as I stretched the wheelbase of the Subaru 360 quite a bit, about 12 inches actually, it matches the Suzuki Samurai factory wheelbase. It is only about a half inch longer than factory, so I could even possibly get away with using factory drive shafts. And that's pretty cool. Now let's talk interior. There's not a whole lot here. There's actually absolutely nothing left. I cut the entire floor pan out and I started with a bare shell. I fabricated my own frame to mount my suspension links to and I have the beginnings of a roll cage here that is going to turn into an entire tube chassis that's going to hold all my suspension components other than the link mounts, including the shocks, the coils, whatever I end up using sway bars, anything like that. And I plan on fabricating everything else in here. I need to fabricate steering, which is probably gonna end up being full hydraulic. I need to fabricate the rest of a roll cage, a seat, harness mounts, but that is in the distant future. First, I've gotta get this thing rolling on its own suspension and get the drivetrain mocked up in here, which is going to be a challenge of its own. 
all in all, I am stoked to have this thing back here, be able to work on it, get some things done on it. This thing has been so much fun to build this far, and there are so many more fun projects to get going. I can't wait to see this thing on its own suspension, rolling down the road, and hitting the trail. It's gonna be such a satisfying day when I get to drive this thing and feel what it's like to drive one of my dream vehicles and one of my dream builds. So if you like this content, let me know what you wanna see me do to this thing first down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I can't wait. Let's get into it.